Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Petey Prowlock and Newcastle United got beat today 1-0 off Brighton down at the Amex Stadium. Bit disappointed, yes, I will be, yes, disappointed slightly, but I wasn't terrible, it wasn't like a terrible defeat in my opinion, I thought. We were just punished for not defending a free kick, which apparently Rafa claims it shouldn't have been given because of a foul on Mbemba leading up to the goal, <coughs> or the foul in the box, and then the goal went in. But it's hard to decide if whether that should be counted or not. But they're lurking into a stamp by the look of it. It has been discussed on Sky. And we'll have to see how that one takes as well. So it'd be a massive blow for Brighton if they do lose Hemet through suspension. If he is going to be found guilty off the FA, we'll have to see about that. But since it's been mentioned, I think this will be looked into this time. <clears throat> and also, you'll probably watch it on Sky Sports. Referee watch with Dermot Gallagher on Sky Sports News to see, was that a red card? Or will Hemed be getting a ban for that if he is going to be found guilty off the FA, if the FA do look into it as well. So, but... Well, I did have a few decent chances. A lot of the times where final ball just wasn't there. But I've got to say, Brighton did defend very well a lot of the time. I thought they were a little bit shaky defensive in the first half. But second half, I think the defence started again on top. Which, uh, to stop with getting them final chances. Hoslu, Mr. Sitter again. Just thought you were going to have much faith in the lad. But you need to start trying to take his chances at least. Which he should have really done. I can't believe how he put that one wide. I don't know. <clears throat> As well so. But oh well. We had a good chance for Marino. When the corner came in. It then fell to him. Shot one outside of the box. Good save from the keeper. Yes as we know. Tim Krul has joined Brighton on a permanent deal. But he didn't start him. Okay then. I thought he could have done. But guess not. Chris Hutton's probably sticking with his keeper. He has been playing in the league so far. And um so yeah, as I said, Marino, good save from the keeper as well. So Hosselu, I don't know how he missed that. Perez played a decent ball in, but I thought Perez was poor again all day. All game, I thought, a lot of the time. So, <clears throat> And um, it's you're just thinking, all he's going to do is just tuck it in the, far, in the corner, the goal. He puts it wi wide off target. And how close he was to the goal, I was thinking, Jesus Christ, how did you miss that? He's got to start taking his chances, Hosselu. Is he now going to lose his starting place? Is Dwight Gale going to come back in now? Or is Mitrovic going to be in? Because he'll be back from his ban for the next game against Liverpool. We will have to see about that. Another thing is, is Shelby now going to be getting the starting position? Because a lot of people think Hayden wasn't that good as well today. We'll have to see. Is, is it Shelby's turn to get back into the squad? I don't think you can drop Marino at the minute. I think he played pretty well today, as I thought. Richie, I thought he's... It wasn't his great game the day. Atsu, I thought it wasn't his great game the day as well. And Bemba, I did well going forward a lot of the time. Defence, it wasn't rotten a lot of the time, but second half, Brighton did really come at us a lot of the time. So, and when they got the early goal, they did try to press us a lot of the time, and then we tried to see, if, tried to get back at them to try and get that equaliser goal. But we we'll concede a free kick. Lascelles gives away the free kick. Okay, a bit of a maybe a bit of an unlucky one, I thought. Ball gets put in. Now this is they do. Rafa thinks this should have been a free kick to Newcastle. Uh, apparently, Mbemba was pushed, wasn't given, and then the ball is rolled in Hemed, and he like well lifted up, and then Hemed manages to get a boot on it. Good, decent finish, I've got to say. Yeah, pretty good finish, I've got to say. Like that's how and Brain get the goal, so. Brighton, all they've got to do is just try and hold on and see if they can be enough to defeat us. Unfortunately, they got it after just our final clear, just our clear cut chance just did not come in the second half. I had a corner, and when Shelby came on, he hit the post with his corner. So I was a bit unlucky with that one. So, yeah, but um, <clears throat> the final ball was just lacking a lot of the time. I'm not really furious with the team, I've got to say, because we did try. We did, I thought we did try to see if we could get back in it. We did try to go forward and try to put decent champ balls into the box and try to take chances throughout with it. But I've got to say, Brighton's defence looked pretty solid in the second half, I've got to say. But um, the thing I'm just... I'm 
But as I've got to say, three defeats, three wins. Okay, we're sitting a ninth in the table. Okay, it's not a, it's a pretty decent start of the league. Okay, we have won three games on the raw. We will have a dip, dips now and then, but I just hope it's not going to turn into a losing streak next, which I hopefully it won't be, because we know what Rafa is like for trying to get a team out. We we'll do look better <clears throat> uh, in the Premier League this season to what we have been under the likes of like Steve McLaren, Alan Pardew, when or and John Carver at least, where um, we, when we started going goals down, we absolutely looked nowhere near to try and get back into the game and we just well then we would just let them kill the game off a lot of the time so but I've got to say as I said I would it does look where I would say what team is being better than what it has been under the like the McLaren Pardew and um, John Carver era so that's what I've got to say about that but yeah we'll all be disappointed with the result a lot of people Will be fur a lot of fans will be furious about the stampman on Yedlin. I think that might get addressed. We'll have to see about that. The thing I'm annoyed at also the thing is that Chris Hutton said it wasn't intentional. Mm, I do like Chris Hutton, but I don't know if he should. He sh he, I don't think he should be coming out and saying stuff like that. He should be saying, "Look, you can't put your studs on when opponent. It can be dangerous." But um, we'll have to see. I really hope they might look into it, I've got to say. But if it does, I think it'll be a massive blow to Brighton because I like Chris Hutton and he's done really, he done really well to take them up to the Premier League with us. So, And um, another reason I love Chris Hutton because when he got us promoted, but the way they got rid of Chris Hutton at Newcastle was abysmal. So that's why I do like Chris Hutton. I am pleased, he's t I'm pleased he got the win. He has, beaten us. he has beaten us the first time. I give him credit for that. so yeah, you give him credit for because he was about that he was probably about to beat us one time at least. But um, so yeah, well done. To, okay, so yeah, well done to Chris Hutton and his team Brighton. They got the three points. Just a bit of a maybe a bit of an unlucky day for us. But overall, I'm not very disappointed. We've got Liverpool on Sunday. It it is going to be a tough game, but. I think we probably can expose uh, Liverpool's weakness in defence because most of their defending has been rotten lately. But um, we will have to see. Hopefully it'll be a better game against Liverpool. But as I said, I'm not worried yet. And hopefully I'm not going to be worried throughout the rest of this, for the, throughout the season yet. But we'll just have to see what happens. Let us know what you think about the game today. Give us a like on the video. Subscribe. I should appreciate it. And I will see you all later. Take care of yourselves. Let's just hope Liverpool will be a better game.